JSO officer Rodney DeConti shot and killed Tony Bernard Smith Jr. after a pursuit at the Hilltop Village Apartments. Smith Jr. was unarmed when he was shot, but investigators say he's one of the suspects in a violent carjacking attack and was seen driving the victim's truck. I'm just lost to words because it still doesn't seem real because I just talked to him yesterday. Smith Jr. was shot once on the third floor of one of the apartment buildings. Investigators say he didn't comply with multiple commands from Officer DeConti. There was a move movement that made him feel threatened that his safety was in danger. But what the movement was is unclear for now. Former JSO officer Ken Jefferson tells me deadly force is more justifiable if the suspect made an overt gesture that the officer felt would endanger him or anyone else. He says in this case, several outside factors will likely come into play. It's very, very dark. He's chasing after this person who just committed a heinous felony. He doesn't know whether or not this person is, is armed or is still armed. He's just have limited information. Despite outside factors, our expert says simply not following orders doesn't make firing the gun acceptable. If that person, that perpetrator, is not adhering to what the officer is saying and he makes some kind of quick move or a sudden gesture, then that could cause the officer to use deadly force, and uh, that's the leeway that he has. As investigators examine the evidence, Jefferson says much of the investigation will hinge on the officer's statement.